Let's take a look at this example problem from class on January 22nd. This is about inelastic collisions. So I read, a 0.032 kilogram bullet strikes a 5 kilogram block of wood that is initially at rest and embeds in the wood. If the subsequent velocity of the block is 3.8 meters per second, calculate the initial velocity of the bullet. Okay, well, I'm going to start this problem by writing down my given and unknown because I'm given a couple pieces of information. First off, I know a bullet, so the mass of a bullet is going to be 0 0.032 kilograms. I know the block of wood, so the mass of 2 is going to be 5 kilograms. I see at rest, so the block of wood is initially at rest. So the velocity of 2 initially is 0 meters per second, which means at rest. Let me give you a little more light here. Okay. And then I know that the subsequent velocity, meaning the final velocity after the collision, is 3.8 meters per second. So my final velocity is going to be 3.8 meters per second. Now, I need to calculate the initial velocity of the bullet. So my initial velocity of the bullet is what I'm looking for. Now my formula, as I remember I'm talking about inelastic collisions, so the formula is going to be m one v one i plus m two v two i equals now I know this formula is going to be m one plus m two times the final velocity because there will be one final velocity because the objects stick together the bullet is embedded in the wood then I make my substitution my m one is zero point zero three two kilograms uh, times my V1i, which I don't know, plus M2, which is 5, times 0, which is V2i, equals my two masses, so 0 0.032 plus 5, times my final velocity, which I know is going to be 3.8 meters per second. Now, as I look at combining these, I know that I don't know the initial velocity of 1, so I'll just leave it as 0 0.032 V1i plus, I know 5 times 0 is 0, actually, so I can just leave that on the left side of the equation. There. That is equal to 0 0.032 plus 5 is 5.032 times 3.8. Continuing on down, 0 0.032 v one I is equal to 5.032 times 3.8, which is 19.1216. One more step, divide both sides by 0 0.032, and I'm left with my initial velocity of the bullet is going to be 19.1216 divided by 0 0.032, which is going to be 597. 0.55 meters per second. And that is how we practice a problem to do with inelastic collisions.